dude. What are you so mad about now, Brock? I wanted to check out the San Jose Toy Show and meet Charter's Prime. Well, you might have some money if you had a job, but I think you'd have to stop wearing that silly costume all the time. Ha <laughs> ha! These jobs are for suckers. I'm a well-trained killer for hire. Whatever you say, tough guy. Now, let's go look at the figures that I found. Okay, fine. But you better have brought me back something. <sighs> hey there, YouTube viewers. Rectangular back with another haul video. This time showcasing items that I picked up at the March 2013 San Jose show. So the first item here is a Marvel Select Brood. I got this from a vendor from Sacramento, uh, Toy Fusion, really cool place. And they were asking $10 for this. I talked them down to eight. So uh, this gives me six of these now to go with my Brood Queen. Um, going to have them in a big display with um, Miss Marvel. And yeah, um, I think I showed these in uh, previous hauls, but uh, very good condition. Nothing wrong with it. And uh, these guys are pretty difficult to find. Um, came with a in a two pack with a um, small um, scientist scroll. At least that's what my friend uh, Rick Dominguez calls him. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you the next item I got. The second item in the haul is a Hasbro two pack super scroll who's complete. And this came from. Cape and Cowl Collectibles, I um, believe they're from LA area, and uh, if you watch my interview with Shortimus Prime, you can see him and his friend Phil uh, digging through the uh, loose um, Marvel Legends bin, and uh, this is that's where I found this guy, the uh, gentleman who it belonged to, didn't even remember that he was in there, so. I was persistent, just kept digging and, and uh, found him, much to my delight. So this gives me, I want to say, I, wa I want to say I have eight of these now. Um, I'm trying to remember because I have some, I have two um, of the uh, Fantastic Four uh, single carded um, scrolls, super scrolls, um, the regular ones with the uh, uh, brown rock arms and of course the uh, two-pack one for some bizarre reason um, they had these uh, gray uh, rock arms gray and blue, bluish purple so anyway that uh, gives me quite a few super scrolls um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, let's see, did I mention oh that he wanted uh, twenty-five dollars for this, and I got it for twenty. So not too shabby. Um, somewhat difficult to find, and uh, they usually get snatched up really quick, especially on the trading pages on Facebook. All right, so let's check out the next item. All right. Next up we have the Marvel Legends Wonder Man variant. This is when he is all powered up in his, uh, I don't know what do you want to call that, uh, nuclear phasing mode. And anyway, I'm not a huge fan of Wonder Man, but he does come with this really nice um, yellow jacket. Um, and I'm a big Hank Pym fan so I've been wanting to get him but I didn't want to pay um, 
more than twenty dollars. Um, did know of an online seller that had them for twenty, and um, I didn't even want to pay that, so I've just been holding out. And when I saw this at the toy show, guy had it marked for twenty bucks. I offered him fifteen, and uh, he took it. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. And um, yeah, I probably won't use the figure very often, but um, it's always nice to have. Um, if I do decide to uh, have him um, powered up, and I do love translucent figures, and uh, this is one of only oh, I'm guessing maybe uh, half a dozen, a dozen at the most um, in the Marvel Legends um, waves that have come out. I have most of them. I have. Uh, um, several of the Invisible wom Woman figures, um, a couple of the Human Torch figures, um, the Invisible Super Scroll, and the um, Flaming Super Scroll, um, and I have the uh, variant Vision, Phasing Vision. Um, so, yeah. Like those translucent figures. I don't know what it is about them just think they're cool. Alright, so a couple more items to show. So March 10th, 2013 was the last day of the San Jose Toy Show and several of the vendors were trying to cut prices, lighten their loads for their return home. Um, and uh, I had noticed on the day before Saturday they had these um, Muppet figures, Muppets figures. Um, I don't remember what they were going for uh, the day before, um, and I don't even know if I had seen this one. Um, to be honest, I have quite a bit of uh, lab props um, for my several scientist characters, but. Uh, didn't have a clock, and the one um, Bunsen burner stand I have is um, a little bit on the flimsy side. This one looked a little bit sturdier, um, and some of the uh, beakers and things um, are a little small. I don't know if you can see all these things here, but it's pretty cool. Nice, nice clock, and a jug of eggnog there. And you can see those uh, beakers. Um, Mr. White would be uh, scolding me for not knowing what uh, what types of uh, glassware that is. Um, but uh, yeah, it never hurts to have um, extras of stuff. Um, you know, I could have uh, three semi-permanent displays going on and uh, have plenty of equipment for all of that and this guy um, they had almost an entire set there was another vendor that did have I think the entire set on Saturday they were selling for six dollars a piece and uh, I have no interest in the TV show heroes um, and these figures, I think, are more or less uh, in the seven-inch scale, so a little bit too big um, for most things Marvel Legends-wise. Um, but it came with this really cool plant um, that I thought would look great on a, um, a desk, and um, it's not a bad-looking figure. He was a little bit shorter than a couple of the other male characters, so I thought he would work great as like a bank president or. Um, just a civilian of any kind, um, you know. It's always great to have guys in uh, business suits. Plus, he comes with this cool head where he's all beat up. So I thought he would make like a good dead body or hostage or something. The gun is a little small and flimsy, but um, yeah, I thought it would look really good. And if you can see that cool orchid that he comes with there. So. Now time to reveal what I paid for these guys. 
uh, all total I paid six bucks for these two the Muppets guy uh, Dr. Phil Van Neuter was four dollars and the heroes uh, Mr. Linderman was only two bucks so yeah I was pretty happy about that got some cool props and um, uh, at least one of the figures I'll use I don't think uh, Phil Van Neuter will get used for anything um, so I'll probably either throw them in my fodder bin and see if there's any parts I can use off of them maybe those glasses I might be able, or goggles might be able to get those off um, otherwise I'm just gonna throw them on eBay okay um, just one more thing to show that I got on the way home from the toy show You may have seen in one of my previous haul videos that I had a giant assortment of loose weapons that were solid green um, and I explained that uh, my friend Bob the Odd um, informed me about them that he had got them from uh, um, ES13 who um, is uh, one of our friends on Facebook and YouTube and after chatting with him, um, come to find out he lives in Stockton, which is um, about an hour and a half, two hours from me. And uh, he he got these um, weapons packs with these little uh, cheap Chinese toy figures um, at the 99 cent only store. Um, and after doing a little research, found that there's one um, not that far away from me, about an hour away. So on my way back from the toy store, I'm sorry, the toy show, I um, swung by the 99 cent only store and they had mo gobs and gobs of these. And uh, I just wanted to grab um, a couple more for myself. Um, primarily for the um, these uh, light machine guns here, the M249 saw, and the um, gas cans that they come with, and also the um, Molotov cocktails. And yeah, there's one each figure come. These each come with one, and these two, both these figures come with uh, two. So. Pretty much there's just two different weapons packs. There's one with the uh, sniper rifle and the light machine gun, and then the other one comes with a uh, uh, rocket, rocket propelled grenade and a spotting scope. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to grab a couple more, and uh, the rest I picked up for the community. I ended up grabbing 10 of these packs and two I'm going to keep for myself so eight of them I'm going to be selling to friends of mine in the community if I have anything left um, feel free to send me a private message and really just interested in um, selling the, the weapons themselves um, if you want them cleaned up and painted um, obviously I have to charge more for that, but um, really, I just picked these up to help out people in the community who uh, don't have a whole lot of weapons um, for their figures in the collection. Um, you know, it's especially these uh, sniper rifles. Um, most of the sniper rifles we have for figures are on the small side and um, are not held very easily and uh, really and the grenade launcher or the uh, rocket propelled grenade launcher RPG um, I don't know any other figures where you can get those so uh, um, these are really nice sets and of course uh, go out and um, check and see if you've got a, a 99 cent only store um, I guess they have them all over the country um, and uh, 
If you can, pick up some extras. Give them to your friends. That's what the uh, community is all about, helping each other out. Alright, so hopefully you liked the video and that you subscribe, share, and please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.